This fall, movies are better than ever on the ABC Sunday Night Movie. George C. Scott. The substitute nurse assassinated him because she couldn't tell the doctors from the patients on the floor. The Hospital. Elaine May. Walter Matthau. Will you marry me? I beg your pardon? Oh, Henry, get... Ah! A new leap. The spectacular movie debut of Barbara Streisand. Funny Girl. Frank Sinatra. You did it, Felix. You killed him. The Detective. Tony Curtis. The Boston Strangler. Burt Reynolds. Move in. Raquel Welsh. Yul Brynner. Fuzz. And a special presentation. Grab him, he's got a bomb! Airport. Every week, outstanding movie entertainment on the ABC Sunday Night Movie. On the day after El Alamein, spirits were high. The Germans were on the run. The British and American armies were racing after them. And for a moment in time, war seemed like a glorious game. Hawksnest, this is Hawk Sugar Tom. Angels 5 over Katora Flats. Hawk's Nest, go ahead. Hey, Thompson. I'm running a little low on gas. Isn't there a British fuel base in this sector? What would you do that, me, Lieutenant Culpepper? <laughs> From Katera Flats, steer 030 degrees. Roger! Tell the boys I'll be home for lunch. Forty with Where's the pub? Uh, nothing like that out here, sir. The officer commanding would like to see you right away. Why? Well, he didn't say, sir, but I suppose he wants to brief you on your target. My target? It's a minefield, actually. Uh, the Germans laid it somewhere around here to protect their flank. We're not sure exactly where, uh, but it's not a new field, so with the sand settling, it should be possible to find it and spot it from the air. You want me to find a minefield? Uh, find it and destroy it. Yeah. The mines are interconnected. One good explosion should clear the entire field. And you want it done now? I mean, today? Why not? Frankly, old man, since the Germans have pulled back, it is a bit of a hazard. Uh, for whom? Uh, there's nobody within miles of that sector. Well, there's always the chance that some of our Arab friends may come wandering through. And if one of them happened to get blown up in liberated territory, well... Cairo feels it might prove a trifle embarrassing. Sir, I'm a pursuit pilot, not a minesweeper. Besides, I've been flying around the clock in that plane. I know, Culpepper. Your commanding officer was telling me about your splendid sense of duty. You cleared with him? I just got off the phone. Oh. Well, uh... Why me? You got a P-40 sitting right there. Well, that's true, but you see, unfortunately, it hasn't got a bomb rack. It's one of the older models you Americans sent us on land lease. Okay, fine, fine, fine. You want my plane? You can have it. I'll take yours. <laughs> I don't think your CO would think very kindly of that, would he, McMillan? No, sir. Americans are very sticky about that sort of thing. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Culpepper. I forgot to introduce a fellow countryman of yours, squadron leader Arnold McMillan from... 
Where the devil are you from, Mac? Wichita, Kansas, sir. Hi, Yank. Squadron Leader McMillan will be going with you, Lieutenant. He'll be your wingman, so to speak. Wingman? Well, there's lots and lots of desert out there. One wouldn't want to see you getting lost or straying from your purpose. Well, Mac, shall we get going? All right, sir. Cole Pepper. Sally Ho. Wingman. I never had a keeper before. Just your regular duty, or you and your boss drum this one up for laughs. You know something, Cole Pepper? You could very easily get to be a bleeding bore. Uh, that make you feel like hot stuff talking like that? Like what? Bleeding bore, tally ho. Well, I do it to annoy you. I believe it. What are you doing in the RAF anyway? Joined Eagle Squadron in 39. You are gun ho. You got in the war early, didn't you? I had my reasons. After no further questions, should we make a show of it, old boy? Yeah. Oh, and uh, uh, look, uh, once we're in the air. A lot of things can happen. I mean, it's not going to change the war one way or the other if I were to bug out and head back to Cairo. Wouldn't change the war at all. i just have to shoot you down. are swooping over that coastal highway tonight while the forces of the 8th Army continue their rush westward in an effort to outflank and overwhelm the driven foe. Rommel is on the run. On the coast road that leads to Mersa and the Egyptian frontier, the traffic of this rugged army is heading west under a blaze of bombs. From their position along the 40-mile front of Alamein, his beaten forces are in full retreat. A special communique in Cairo tonight states that we have taken 9,000 prisoners since October 23rd. Among them is General Ritter von Thoma, commander of the Africa Corps, and a number of other senior German and Italian officers. The enemy's losses in tanks total 260. More than 270 of his guns have been captured or destroyed. More than 300 of his warplanes have been knocked out in the air, and as many more on the ground since Allied air forces launched their offensive against his desert airfield. General von Stuma, who is believed to have been in command during Rommel's absence in Germany, was killed in battle. In one sector of the front, enemy casualties were so heavy Attention, Panther base. This is Panther leader. Come in. Not the base. We have been attacked. Fighter, fighter planes. We have casualties. Sixth Division headquarters break radio silence. This is Panther Leader on the emergency frequency. Come in, I say. Come in. Hello, Panther Leader. Anything we can do? Who is this? Corporal Hughes, British 8th Army. I'd say the rest of your chaps have skipped out on you. Clear this frequency, at once. Why, Fritzy, 
Your 6th Division's been run halfway into Libya, along with the rest of your early Africa Corps. Haven't you got the word? Here now, where are you? Hey, tell us, we'll come pick you up. Go to the devil! Come, come, don't take offense. <laughs> Sergeant. Ah. Oh. Damn it. Huh. An afternoon. Sir? What is your unit? That's her brigade, Sixth Panzer Division, sir. Sixth Division. Thank God. Good to see you all. Very good. So, what are you doing in this sector? So, we... So we are lost. I take full responsibility. Where's the rest of your squadron? Captured, sir. Or dead. I see. Well, then we will fight with what we have. Panther. Ah, splendid old girl. She will see us through anything. So, how's your petrol? Water? Ammunition? Petrol is one half, sir. And the canteen water is low, but we have reserve tanks trapped to the side. And ammunition? Plenty of ammunition, sir. You did not fire at all? So we were in reserve. All units were ordered to retreat. Oh, yes, of course. Is the radio working? Just the receiver, sir. Let me have a look. I trust we will enjoy each other's company. Did you 
hear him? It is a miracle. An officer who knows what he is doing. Yes, Becca, I think he qualifies. Fight with what we have. Does he really believe that? Of course he does. Don't you know who that is? No, who? His name is Beimler. Ernst Beimler? General Ernst Beimler, our division commander. McMillan, if there was a visible minefield down there, we would have seen it by now. Yeah, as long as we're out here, we'll give it our best. Hey! What's that? What's what? On the deck! Ten o'clock! I don't see anything. That wadi! Looks like a bunch of circles in the sand. What wadi? Never mind! I think we found our minefield! Wait a minute! mistake and you didn't order me to turn back did you call all vehicles two o'clock that's no minefield either it's a target lieutenant my orders were to blow up a minefield if you want to play hero you're on your own much we can do. Then get him inside. You're going to make them pay. Sir? We are going after them.
Uh, what brings you out in this neck of the woods, Lieutenant? I don't know. Maybe it seemed like the gentlemanly thing to do. Oh, come on, let's get going. I got a busted ankle. I'm gonna have to split it. Oh, that's great. And what are we gonna use for splints? Give me your knife and scabbard. Supposed. I don't know. Let's not wait to find out. I know, I know, I'm just gonna get out of his range. Hold your fire! I trust that is not the best shooting this crew is capable of. No, sir, I'm sure we can do better than that. Good, perhaps you will have another chance. She is heading north, probably towards the Kassim Pass. That couldn't be better. Driver! Yes, sir? Your course is north. Just follow the tracks of the airplane. Move out. The general. Now, please. Yes, sir. That's the last we're going to see that tank. What makes you so sure we've seen the last of the tank? Are you kidding? He's put us out of commission. Paints a little uh, airplane silhouette on his turret and goes about his business. What is his business? 
What's he doing out here? The bloody Africa Corps needs every tank he can get. Why hasn't he joined the retreat? How do I know? You're the one that got us in this mess. You figure it out. Yeah, I guess I did get us into this, didn't I? Bet you're alive. Going after the fourth Oakley cluster on your Victoria Cross. All right, I apologize for getting us into this. And I appreciate your efforts to get us out. Stuck. Oh, boy! Did you find something? Yeah! We must have picked up some shrapnel in the radiator. We're losing coolant. I guess you know what that means. It means we don't run the engine again unless we have to. You got it. I guess we're going to have to call for help. What's your radio code? Hawk Sugar Tom. CQ, CQ, CQ. Hawk Sugar Tom on rescue frequency. Come in, please. CQ, CQ, CQ. I say again, Hawk Sugar Tom on rescue frequency. Any unit, come in, please. You hear something? Turn it off. See?
means to continue, Sergeant. I know. <sighs> what about the lieutenant? We have no medicine left. There's not much we can do for the lieutenant anyway. The Lord knows where our nearest hospital is now. We could... We could get him to a British hospital. Sergeant, we'll never catch up with our own army. Surrender is a perfectly honorable course. Hoffman, this is the Death's Head Brigade. Surrender does not come easily to us. Especially to Ernst Weimler. Yes, Ernst Weimler is a very proud man. Is that what you call it? Now, you be careful. No. It's insane to go on like this, pursuing these flyers. Now, listen to me. The war is over in Africa, Sergeant. Rommel is beaten. You know it and I know it. We are still soldiers. Soldiers? We are toy soldiers for him to play his stupid game. Now, that is enough. And the discussion is over. What? What? Lieutenant needs water. See to it that he gets some. I say again, I say again, this is Hawk Sugar Tom. This is Hawk Sugar Tom, requesting assistance on the rescue frequency. Come in, any unit. What's happening? Panther's just sitting there, like he's playing some kind of a game with us. Why? Why is he doing that? I don't know. Why does he keep falling? It's crazy. Only the explanation I can come up with, it's crazy. All I know is the engine's cooled down. This time, let's get a head start, huh? Yeah. Where? Well, the terrain looks good all the way to the Cassin Pass. We got enough fuel to get there. From there, it's downhill to the sea, if we're lucky. Yeah, if we're lucky. I don't suppose there was anything on the radio? Nothing. CQ, CQ, aircraft on rescue frequency. Come in, please. Hello, hello, Hawk Sugar Tom, rescue calling. Come in for radio bearing, please. I heard it, sir. I thought it was on the rescue frequency, but I heard it. Yes, yes, he was. Well, call base and verify missing aircraft. If they confirm, Tell them we'll stay out here and search the sector. Gentlemen, we will take up the pursuit. Our wounded bird is off towards the Cassim Pass. But they will never make that climb without coolant. And they are losing it. They are losing coolant. This time, we will finish the job. Take your stations. Excuse me, sir. May I speak to you for a moment, sir? Yeah, Sergeant. The men are quite weary and they're concerned with catching up with the rest of the army. I see. And they are wondering what we're up to, huh? Precisely, sir. I know you, don't I, Sergeant? What is your last name? Stefan, sir. Stefan! Yes, of course, Stefan. The Ukraine, the bridge at Bosna. Yes, sir. 
I didn't think you would remember, sir. Remember? Why, you were splendid, Stefan. Splendid. Thank you, sir. With only four part the tanks. How we turn things round, huh? Yes, I remember that, sir. Perhaps we will have a chance to do that again. Yes, sir. But if I may say so, sir, I don't think this is quite the same situation as it was now, sir. No. No, of course not. I'm going to confide in you, Sergeant. But first, I want you to know that all is not lost. We have been badly beaten, that is true. But there is still hope. And a chance for us to fight. Not by chasing planes, of course. That is just a game. En route to our real destination. There is a gathering place beyond the Kasim Pass, known to field commanders only. They have supplies there, ammunition, weapons. It is a rallying point for all units trapped behind the enemy lines as we are. Now, if we can make it there, we will join others and become a force in the enemy's rear that could destroy his effort. We could turn things round again, Stuffer. That would be something, sir. Yeah, so. Shall we move out then? Take a look. One each. Map, Italian type, top secret. Glasses, field type. Focus, probably fuzzy. Compliments of Mussolini. Any water? Not a drop. Well, there must be some coolant in those radiators. Did you check that? No, but no one knew you're probably right. A coolant would extend our range. If the surface stays packed like this, we could be in good shape by nightfall. Let's take a look at this map. <laughs> You're really something. 
the eternal optimist. He's probably the kid that looked at horse manure and figured there was a pony underneath it. Oh, my God, no. What? You, you find something? Those lunatics in that tank know exactly what they're doing. Once we jumped that arroyo, they really had us. Look at the Cassine Pass. That's what we were supposed to bomb this morning. That's the minefield. Only now it's exactly where we're headed. General! It's the lieutenant, sir. We are out of morphine. No, we can't stop. Very good, Sam. <laughs> Nothing yet. But they're coming. You know they're coming. Well, what are we going to do, huh? There are five miles of running space until we get to the minefield. We put coolant in this thing and keep going. All right. All right, I'll get started. Wait a minute. There's one other thing we can do. What? Fight. Fight? Oh, sure. Listen to me. We know where they're coming from. They've got to come over that rise. We swing the tail around, bring the wing cannon to bear. Mac, 20 millimeters against a tank? This is a pea shooter. We could get lucky and knock off a tread. And if we miss, they blow us to pieces. I'm not going to hang my life on your luck anymore. Then bug out! I'll do it myself. Mac! Mac! Do you think you're going to lift the tail of this baby by Can't help me! No! Open the access plate. I'll be right back.
will make cap now and bury our dead. sent out for beer and sandwiches. <laughs> Ice cold beer. Can you lean forward just a little bit? <clears throat> what happened to our Panzer friends? I don't know. Maybe they stopped for the night. Yeah. Maybe they're getting cocky, huh? They might be having fuel problems. Anything could happen, right? Right. I'm gonna get on the radio again. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Hawk Sugar Tom. This is Hawk Sugar Tom. Anyone in the sound of my voice, come in, please. I say again. This is Hawk Sugar Tom on the Allied Rescue Frequency. Anybody in the sound of my voice, please come in. This is Hawk Sugar Tom. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Hawk, Sugar Town. Plane in distress. Come in, please. Sergeant, may we talk to you? All right, go ahead. Something must be done, Sergeant. About what happened? About him. You know as well as I do, he is no longer fit to command. Well, that's a pretty dangerous thing to be saying, you know. Sergeant, he... He is obsessed with that airplane. He has led us into the middle of nowhere. The lieutenant is dead and all of it for no purpose. Hoffman, a general, does not have to explain what his purposes are to you. But they should be reasonable. Right, Becker? Becker, will you say something? Yes, Sergeant. Reasonable. All right, there's a purpose and I can vouch for it. What is it? It's classified. I can't discuss that. Please, Sergeant. It would help so much to know. It's a secret base on the other side of Kasim Pass. We're heading there now to join up with other units to form a task force in the enemy's rear. Do you believe that? Yes, Hoffman, I do, because the general told me so. Where is this base? Did he show it to you on his map? But don't listen to me, you idiot. Beimler doesn't have to prove anything to you or to me. Why not? He could have just made up the whole That's thing. enough! Shh. Quiet. What is it? I heard something. You're imagining things, Becker. No, I could have sworn it was an engine. Well, that's just the wind. There! Panzer. No, that's not a panzer. London Stover! Sir! British! Take your stations! Sir, signal's coming in stronger, but it's still garbled. Keep trying. Yes, sir. Hello, hello. I am barely reading you. If you can hear me, try rescue frequency Baker. Over. Mac, I'm picking up a signal. Yeah, CQ, yes, I read you. 
but you're coming in very weak. CQ, do you read me? Yes, yes, I read you, but you're breaking up. Can you try rescue frequency maker, please? Sir, signal's getting weaker. Try moving south. Hello, hello. Trying another band. If you could read me, switch to Charlie frequency. CQ, CQ, this is rescue team on Charlie frequency. How do you read? <laughs> I read you loud and clear. Are you close by? It's hard to tell, Sugar Tom. We seem to be on the right line. We'll know more after this next rise of ground. Oh, my God. Mac, did you hear that? CQ, CQ. This is Hawk Sugar Tom. On rescue band frequency. Come in. Over. Don't understand it. One minute they're coming in loud and clear, the next minute they're not. Just like that. Sergeant Stoffer? Sir. Have the men bury our British comrades. After that, you may secure the area. Very well, sir. I will be manning the radio all night. You can see how productive it was, huh? Yes, sir. You heard what he said. Bury them. of Tobruk, with General Montgomery predicting a total Allied victory in North Africa within a month's time. And now, back to the sound of the big bands. This is Armed Forces Radio Service, Cairo. senior prom. Seems like a million years ago. Estelle Krepner was my date. Estelle Krepner? Listen, Estelle Krepner was not just an Estelle Krepner. She was gorgeous. Sedgwick County that year. She was really something in a bathing suit. She was beautiful. Those were the good old days. Hey, Culpepper. I hate to admit this, but I'm bleeding. I think I'm bleeding all over. You're gonna be all right. Yeah? Yeah. We're gonna get out of this. You hear me? You're gonna be all right. 
Now who's the optimist? Sun's up. <coughs> How do you feel? Better. You wouldn't kid a guy now, would you? I wouldn't kid a yank. <laughs> you are better. Pop, pop it up! <laughs> this will be a good day. <laughs> come, gentlemen, come. Start the engine. You gonna be all right? I want to go up and have a look. Yeah. yeah. When they come. What do you want to do? First, let's see if they're coming. Well, you tell me. Explain to me how you reach a base on the other side of the Cassin Pass. When the Cassin Pass is mined, and he knows it is mined. Our target is just over the hill. We have them to your post, sir. Huh? This is your map, sir. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Maybe just have a moment with you, sir. It is clear from that map that we would never make it beyond the Cassine Pass. You have examined my map, Sergeant? I'm sorry, sir. But the map indicates that there's a minefield we could not possibly get through. So, you have looked into my private papers, huh? Have you also looked into my mind? 
Did it not occur to you that it was I who designed that minefield? That I might know a way of getting through it? No, sir, that has not occurred to me. No. No, you were too busy doubting my judgment. Is there anyone else who doubts my judgment? Hmm? Who questions my ability to lead? When I found you yesterday, you were lost and afraid. Alone, you would have died in the desert. But in less than 24 hours, I made you into a fighting unit. Why, you destroyed one enemy scout car and its entire crew. You downed one airplane and are about to finish off another. You have become German soldiers again because of me. It was I who, who kept you together, who kept you strong. I... How? By giving you a purpose, that plane. Beyond that hill, that plane is our purpose. And when we have finished with that, we will find another purpose, and another, and another, and another. So. Now, get to your stations. One day, you will be proud that you served under Ernst Beimler. Coming. Now listen, I know how you feel about honor, duty, and country, and all that jazz. And I know you're the senior officer, but this is a decision I've got to make. Sounds like you want to give up. You're my responsibility now. You need help. They'll have sulfur, medical supplies. That, anyway, that's it. My mind is made up. Well, since I'm your responsibility, the least you could do is give me a handkerchief. Yeah, a handkerchief. I don't have a handkerchief. How the hell do you expect to surrender? I reached in my back pocket, kept an ace back there for occasions like this. <laughs> it's, it's taken a day and a half. But I think I'm finally getting to like you. Oh, no, no, you do the honors. Easy, easy.
to your posts. Drink. <laughs> 